Okay, so I ordered this uh, this kit with some LEDs in it, just to uh, you know have some LEDs basically. Open that. This is working surprisingly well. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like uh, it's twelve bucks Prime. You know, not bad. Honestly, ever since Radio Shack shut down, there's no easy way to get these things. There's like a local electronics store, but they're kind of expensive and kind of shitty and they close at five and like I'm recording this at like four in the afternoon. I haven't even left my desk. Like except to get this package and like to eat leftover pizza. So but yeah like five o'clock like you can't close at five o'clock. That's not it's like when I get moving, you know. Like, come on. So I, I get the uh the first layer. And oh oh there's no plastic on it. Okay. It just looks weird. Oh, this is really hard to open. Oh, wow. And then it uh, tells you all the stuff that's in it. So, um, I got it for the LEDs, but, you know, capacitors are cool. Everyone likes jumper wires, resistors. Capacitors, transistors, right? There's that. It's all in the bag. Oh, no, there's some tactile switches in there, too. Look at that. A uh, couple of tactile switches. All right. Tensiometers. Ah, uh, shit, not one of those. Um, I don't even remember. Uh, see LEDs, this is a power supply. Looks actually not that chintzy. It's definitely not the best, but... Like... Just got a, a switch, that's, you know, that's a thing. got jumpers and it's got a USB output so that's kind of cool more more jumper wires like a like a really large amount of jumper wires um, some of these things those are cool I don't know what they're called I think I've ever actually used them um, it's actually kind of shitty looking breadboard like kind of upset with how shitty this thing looks Let's see All right, the real the real true test does it does it have the adhesive pad on the bottom? It does. Okay, so it's not that bad. I mean, I I guess it's not that bad. It's, you know, the the colors could be brighter, but that's acceptable. It's like a little, like uneven almost. Okay, so look, it, it's kind of shitty, but for twelve bucks, I mean, you know, what would you expect? Would you would you expect? You know. What do you think you're getting? This is exactly what I thought I was getting. I knew exactly what I was getting. Pretty. Actually, no, that's not, that's not too bad. Maybe that spot's just rough. No, no, stuff seats in there just fine. Perfectly, perfectly fine seating. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no, oh, oh. Oh, 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 geez. Okay, well, the jumper wires kind of suck, but that's okay. I didn't actually get this for any other reason other than the wires. Maybe the breadboard at some point. Probably never gonna use this to be honest. Maybe I don't. I don't have anything. So say what that takes. Like the only thing I have outputs 12 volts, which I, I, I guess you, it, it could it could drop 12 to three or five. I wouldn't. I I, I probably won't ever use it. Let's be real. Some shitty caps, some more shitty stuff. Like a pretty reasonable amount of. I mean, this is a very awesome kit for twelve bucks. Like, if we're being, you know, totally honest, for twelve dollars, this is. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. At, from like a just having the component standpoint, um, but this thing is 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 pretty okay. Just looking at it, it looks, you know, it's clean, which says a lot. Only one crooked component. Not bad, right here behind the switch. You can kind of see it's a little, a little off, but that's okay. You know, nothing's tombstone, so. Oh no, there's, there's a crust mark. See it up here at the top. Yeah, just wanna, come on. 
on. Really? Jeez. There it goes. Well, a little bit by the other spot. I'll see my fingerprints at this point. Yeah. I, nah. This is totally acceptable. I mean, at least, like, look how shiny it is. Yeah, not bad. So, you know, for 12 bucks, it's not bad. The jumper wires, I mean, are really, like, honestly, an adequate amount of jumper wires. This is ribbon together, so, like, it's easy to maintain. That's cool. With male and female ends, so. You can hook up components without snipping any leads. It comes with an RGB LED. If you're into that kind of thing, I don't actually know how to control the RGB, so. Well, I guess we're gonna have a project. Um, it's got an active and a. Like a switchable speaker or something? Active and passive buzzers. And like a precision potentiometer? So, um, you know, it does actually have all these things. So you're probably wondering, you know, what did I get it for if I'm not going to actually use it for anything other than parts? Well, are you ready? This thing is 10 bucks at Walmart. And I took out the batteries and I put in some 18650 cells and I'm going to put headlights in. Right, right there and right, right there. <laughs> One more try. No, no, here we go, here it is. 